before we start this, guys, go and cup yourself on your food and life's a beautiful thing. Chats. Or OG one. Guys, if you guys are enjoying this content, don't forget to subscribe here, like this content, click on the bell, guys. Be a part of the notification. <laughs> Morning, Sue Chef. Hey, Sue Chef. Sue Chef Kitty. Hey, hey, Sue Chef Kitty. Hi. <laughs> are you ready to cook? Huh? Kitty? Kitty, are you just here to eat or to cook with me? Huh? Which one is it? Come say good morning to everybody, kitty. Come here. Come say good morning to everybody, kitty. Come say good morning to everybody. <laughs> you crazy one. Ready to cook? Yes. Right. Let's cook. Woke up this morning, guys, craving some mac and cheese. Not no ordinary mac and cheese. I want a mac and cheese burger bun crusted in hot Cheetos with a burger in the middle. Fried hot Cheetos, mac and cheese, burger. Let's make one. For our cheese sauce, so I got two tablespoons of butter. Once I got that butter to melt, two tablespoons of flour. What we're gonna do right now, cook this flour into this butter here. Once I got that nice incorporated, I'm gonna do two cups of this heavy whipping cream. And again guys, don't be that guy or girl who doesn't wash their mail carton before they recycle. I'm gonna shoot this up with a quarter teaspoon of salt and pepper. I'm gonna let that catch up oil on a medium heat as we wait. We have boiling water here. I got two cups of macaroni and noodles in. Once I got my white sauce to slightly thicken, I'm gonna grab some sharp cheddar cheese, two cups of it in, guys. Make sure your fire is off before you whisk in your cheese. There it is, guys. Your quick, easy, simple mac and cheese sauce. Once you got your cheese incorporated, I'm gonna take my spoon, I'm gonna dunk my spoon in, and we're gonna taste for seasoning. Perfect. So if it needs more salt, add more salt. If it needs more pepper, add more pepper for your own liking. Pasta is complete. I'm just gonna strain this. I'm just gonna throw it into my bowl here. Moment of silence, please. Cheese sauce. Take your macaroni mixer scooper. <laughs> I'm gonna let all that macaroni soak up all that cheese sauce and we're gonna roll this out. Macaroni and cheese has been sitting for about 25 minutes, guys. Look at all that sauce. It has soaked up into the macaroni there. As we let our macaroni soak up all that cheese, let's make our crust. So I got some Cheeto crumbs, blend up. If you guys have not fried with Cheeto crumbs ever before, I highly recommend you guys give it a try. Next guys, we got our wrapper or our very thin flour wrapper just to hold everything together. So I got one cup of flour, half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking powder. Slowly add in half a cup of water. I kind of changed my mind on this. I know I said I wanted burgers, but now I kind of want a hot fried Cheeto burger pocket. So I'm just gonna cook up my hamburger meat or ground beef. For one pound of ground beef, half tablespoon of chili powder, half tablespoon of seasoning salt, quarter teaspoon of cumin seeds, and I got a quarter teaspoon of pepper. Time to start rolling our pocket. So we got our dough here. What we're gonna do with this dough, guys, is roll this out to paper thin. For us to get paper thin sheet of dough, we're gonna pass it through our pasta maker. Just like our last Cheeto stick, we're gonna make the same exact Cheeto stick, but we're gonna make a stuffed fried hot Cheeto stick hamburger meat stuffing mix. <laughs> I actually don't even know what it's called. Hamburger meat and more cheese. Egg wash. Because it cracked a bit, I got another piece of dough here, which I'm just gonna slide on. Seal it up. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna tear away some parchment paper, Cheeto crumbs, place it along. We're gonna take our egg wash. 
much egg on top. The hard part. Time to roll this up gently onto the Cheeto crumbs. Before I throw this in the freezer just to freeze up, I wanna see how long this Cheeto stick is. Let's say around 28 and a half inches Cheeto stick. I'm gonna pop this in the freezer for about 30 minutes, guys, before we start frying. Nothing to it. Get in the pool. Ow! Yep. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> Your biggest Cheeto stick ever. The hardest part now, guys, is flipping this. Or if I can submerge this all in oil right now, I'm gonna baste this hot Cheeto so I won't have to flip it. Nothing's better than a double fry hot Cheeto. <laughs> this is ready, guys. Bring that all out. I'm not breaking. Let's get into this. It kind of broke off when I was trying to do a thumbnail, but guys, still all good. Check that out. So this was supposed to be kind of like a Hot Pocket or a burger, then I switched it to a Cheeto, but now here we are guys. A broken up Cheeto. Take a first bite of this. Yes, got it. Nice. Look at that. So bombs. A palm. Mmm. Mmm. The Cheeto crumb, like I said. Mmm. If you guys never experienced or never deep fried using Cheeto crumbs, I highly recommend you guys try it. Mmm. So bomb. Mmm. <laughs> wow. So greasy and good. Mm. Mm. Not gonna lie. Already. This is so rich. <laughs> mm. You definitely lose the spice. 
when you use the crumbs. But the end factor of it is so crunchy and good. Mmm. <laughs> I should not eat this all. You guys need to come here and grab a piece for me. <sighs> One more bite, then we'll call it a day, guys. I want it more cheesier. Mmm. <sighs> Wow. For some reason, if you guys haven't seen my first fried Cheeto video, I'll link it down there so you can check it out. But I prefer the original one over this meat one. Mmm. But, still all good. I think the reason why it's just, it's so rich. Everything's so rich. And the meat makes it so, more rich. <laughs> but still, all in all, still all good. That absolutely did not fill me up one bit. Let's make some pho. We got a whole chicken here. I'm gonna time myself. Last time, I think I got a minute and 50 seconds to cut up a whole chicken. Let's try to beat my old time. Let's go. Pop that. Pop that bone out. Oh, so beautiful. Look at that beautiful chicken ass, guys. Check that out, holy. <laughs> Under the armpit, break that off, cut around it. Under the armpit, slice, break that off, cut around it. Oh, beautiful. I'm gonna peel away the skin. Come on. Come on. Oh. Two incision. Break that bone there. We got this, guys. Cut away that breast. Oh, beautiful. Come on. Under one minute. <laughs> done, <laughs> done. We almost got under a minute, guys. A minute and three seconds. Not as beautiful as I do it before, but still did a mighty fine job, guys. Now, I'm not gonna even cut that. So, stock, stock. I'm gonna save this chicken ass. Stock, stock, stock. So I got seven quarts of water here, all the bones into the pool. I don't care if you can swim, just get in. One onion, one ginger, one cinnamon stick as well, gets charred. Five pieces of our star anise. Now let's throw seven. A tablespoon of coriander seed. Throw in our toasted cinnamon, our charred ginger and onions into the pool. Last but not least, one clump of rock sugar, but I have brown sugar here that's in a clump. Let this sit for two to three hours, guys. The longer it sits, the tastier will be. It's been quite some time since I had some chicken ass, guys. So I think too fancy. Just a little salt and pepper on top into the oven. Chicken ass complete. Let's dig in. Take the first bite of this. The side chicken ass. Quick time. The juiciest part of the chicken eggs. Quick time. Yeah, it's got it. Nice. I'm pumped. How about this? I just break it apart and show you how juicy the part is. So I'm just gonna peel. This back skin. You know what? Mm. A lot of people lose sight of just salt and pepper being just top notch already. That side chicken ass right there. It's a party in my mouth. I'm pumped. Wow. <laughs> the most beautiful thing ever. Guys, the tail. You guys got it. Nice. 
once his tail crisps up a little more in the oven, most beautiful thing ever, I promise you. I should have crisped this up a little more. But still all good. Wow. Mmm. 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 I'll pop out the oyster. Mmm. Oh. So bombs. It's been too long. Guys, the kidney. Quick time. Nice. Mmm. Wow. Wow. Three and a half hours up. Strain. Pop back in. One tablespoon of salt. Go in with your fish sauce. One tablespoon at a time. Adjust. Taste for your own liking, guys. Noodles into hot water, into the bowl. Chicken on. Go in with some white onion, a beautiful broth. Last but not least, I'm just gonna hit this up with green onion, cilantro, a poison, sriracha. You can say legit, my first meal of the day is <laughs> that fried cheetah was not really a meal. I'm drooling. Let's get into this. Take the first sip of this. The broth. You guys got it. Nice. Wow. Wow. Guys. Make this at home. I know I just ran through the recipe because I did make a lot of pho videos. But, guys. Just search QT pho. And you'll find a lot of recipes on it. Take the first bite of this, or slurp on this. It's got it. Nice! A pulp. Mmm. Wow. The Vietnamese chicken noodle soup. It's nice, it's light. Wow. Soul bombs. <laughs> Definitely hot. <laughs> wow. Why go out and buy it when you can make it, guys? So bombs. Mm -mm -mm. It's that time of the month, guys, where fall is here and the sun is setting. Too early. Mm. Wow. Mm. 
nothing beats this. <laughs> But to me, it's wholesome. Is it wholesome? It's wholesome. It's comfort food. Mm. Definitely hot. <laughs> but you gotta eat fresh, guys. You can't just leave it in the broth sitting. Mm -mm. <laughs> Food and life is such a beautiful thing, don't you think? Hope you guys enjoy this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Also, don't forget to pick up one your food and life is a beautiful thing. Shit. Or an OG one. Like, <laughs> Peace out.